everyone. So I just got back from HOA. It was so fun. I was so impressed. Um, there was a couple of delays a couple of times, uh, but uh, we were able to get through the lines and, and got everything that we need. So I just got back out to the garden and four days. Four days makes such a big difference. Um, but I was about to start weeding again. Um, and I found this little volunteer. Uh, let me see if I can show you. In the weed patch. Look at this little thing. That's not the zinnia bed. That's the zinnia bed. So yeah. I have me a new little volunteer. So exciting. So I just cleaned out these beds. Um, I'm going to plant kale, cabbage, um, red and green. Um, I might get some lettuces growing in here. Um, I have really, really sandy soil here in Florida. And so I'm going to put some compost down and try to um, get them to grow better here. Um, I am having better luck with the cabbages and the cauliflower, or the broccoli and cauliflower. My red and green kale that I already have in the ground here aren't doing as well. I did fish emulsion, um, fertilize them yesterday. Um, and so we're gonna try to get them to start growing up better. Um, I was able to, I moved off the mulch that I had from last um, season. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put the plants in the ground and then um, remulch it. Um, so stay tuned for that. So I was able to get in all the cabbage, all the red cabbage, and two broccolis that I had. Um, two broccolis that I had. Um, further down, I already got into an ant nest. Not looking to get into that again. I'm going to go ahead and water these all in and uh, get them settled. And then tomorrow I'll come back and put mulch around them. I did have this little little guy I don't think he's gonna make it and he's a red cabbage so I didn't think that I should put it in the ground I'll go ahead and keep watering it maybe it will get bigger I can find a place for it I still have um, all the cauliflower all the cauliflowers um, the kales and uh, that should be it um, left to put in. I know these are small. These were seeded um, a little over a month ago and they are still super small. I did fish emulsion these guys already yesterday. Um, I'm wondering if putting them in the ground will um, help with the growing. I've never grown fall crops before so this is my first fall crops. Um, I still have a whole bed of stuff to weed but I was able to get this area, you know, cleaned out enough to put them in there. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys back into um, an underflow water or a sitting in water where they can suck up water whenever they want to um, and get that, uh, get that going again so they don't dry out. Um, like I said, I'm going to water these guys in real good. Tomorrow I'll mulch them um, and hopefully they'll start growing some. Um, the cauliflower and the broccoli that I put in last month maybe? Nope, beginning of this month, they're doing awesome. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey everyone, so it's been a long time since I've recorded anything. Um, but my garden that you saw at the beginning of this video um, was 
<laughs> How do I put this nicely? It was eaten. Um, I had the ducks uh, roaming and letting them kind of eat around and pick around things. Well, everything that I had planted, they um, ate. And so I ended up having to buy starts, which was really upsetting. And I was really kind of upset with the garden at that point. Not the garden in general, but all my hard work being ruined in the garden was the problem. Um, so I'm on my lunch break from my regular job. I work from home. Um, so I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> um, but I was watching a video about cauliflower and how once it starts getting ahead, you should really like bind it up. And, um, um, so it, the blanching process. So that's what I'm out here doing. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I had done and what I was doing. I'm going to try to, um, to show what I'm doing. So give me just, so So here's the cauliflower that I'm going to do now. Um, this one is still hiding its little flower, but we're going to go ahead and get it blanched um, or the blanching process. So when it grows up, it's nice and beautiful and white and doesn't cause the um, bittering that they say it does, which scared me into doing this. So. That might be a little easier. So I'm taking the center ones and bringing them in. And then I'm just taking the, old, the bigger leaves. And bringing them up. Now, I don't have any pantyhose here. Because, well, I don't wear them. But I do have all these, um, like the top store feed bags that we rip off and so I'm just using them they're kind of a papery product um, so they shouldn't hurt the plants at all so that was pretty easy in fact um, this is what they all look like now. Here's my... <laughs> they don't even look like cauliflower plants anymore. It's kind of silly, really. So, my bean trellis was doing so good. If I can get it better. It was doing so good. And then the frost got it. So, there are some good leaves still. Here at the bottom so I'm gonna let it continue to grow maybe grow maybe grow um, the tomatoes are pretty much done for we're gonna do a lot less in ground planting and have some more raised beds that way um, I don't have to deal with so much of the sand um, I can get some some good compost in here Trying to amend sand is is really really difficult, and it takes it takes a while. Um, so we're gonna go with the raised beds and just in ground planting for corn because corn seems to seems to do great um, in the sand. So, but the ducks have now been um, penalized and penned up. They're not allowed to eat anything but what I give them anymore. So. Um, I will update you again. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, please like and subscribe. And, um, I did get a couple of subscribers, which is really cool. And I want hope to do some more. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.